I'm Dr. Ramakrishna Prasad. I'm a U.S. board certified family medicine specialist and an HIV AIDS uh, and viral hepatitis specialist. I serve as the executive director of PCMH Restore Health on Double Road, Bangalore. Let me try and answer this question at two levels. <clears throat> the first is uh, HIV is one of the infections we need to consider. But if uh, someone is actually having weight loss, that individual needs to be evaluated thoroughly because other infections or possibilities should be kept in mind. For example, weight loss can happen as a result of thyroid disease. It can happen because of um, other infections such as tuberculosis. It can happen because of multiple um, cancers. It could be anything. So what I would really encourage you to uh, do is to meet with a physician who has expertise in managing this. As regards oral thrush and oral hairy leukoplakia, if someone is repeatedly HIV negative, um, some of the common causes for oral thrush besides the immune system becoming weak or immunodeficiency due to HIV are if they are on medications such as uh, steroid inhalers or on other medications which uh, change the bacteria in our mouth uh, which can result in thrush. Those are uh, reasons to be considered. One also needs to consider sometimes the fact that these uh, conditions may actually be misdiagnosed. Sometimes just a normal coating of the, th of the tongue could be misdiagnosed as oral hairy leukoplakia or oral thrush. These things need to be kept in mind and an experienced physician with expertise in this, uh, such as an experienced HIV doctor, will be able to distinguish or differentiate or make out the difference between true oral thrush, true oral uh, leukoplakia and something benign like coating. What actually happens is that the mind and the body are not separate. And in many instances, and this is something in our practice we see every day with people coming from different parts of uh, uh, the country and the world, where someone has had an exposure, following that exposure, there, there are a whole range of emotions, such as fear, such as anxiety, such as shame, stigma, it's hard to discuss these things, that though the test comes back negative repeatedly, but because this is emotionally so traumatizing, they look on the internet and find all kinds of information, some of which is not reliable, and uh, are unable to uh, process and accept the fact that they are actually negative and move on. Um, uh, in order to uh, help them, well, help in this situation, one needs to meet with a team which is an integrated team where there is a psychologist and an experienced HIV doctor working together, closely together, who work together to create a program for, the, for, for someone uh, suffering from this. And uh, uh, if, uh, if done right and if there is good engagement from the patient who is going through these symptoms, people do experience excellent uh, uh, outcomes and people can feel much better. So I urge you to discuss these things with an expert HIV team, uh, especially a team where a psychologist and an HIV uh, expert are working together.